What can be done to increase police protection, particularly with the increase of population from Cornell Tech? Any takers? I, 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 I can assure you they're going to be increased uh, police protection because of the increased population. Our, I believe our state senator has uh, something to say. In the well, again, this is more of a public safety question, and it's probably best posed to the uh, police captain uh, that will oversee public safety on the island. Uh, in the previous meetings that we've had with uh, public safety, um, we have uh, stressed the importance of making sure the island remains safe. I think, in, and not to live in a hypothetical negative, I don't know for sure that there will be any kinds of, you know, uh, problems as far as that goes. But if there is, or if there is any concerns, uh, I, my office, and my colleagues will make sure that we bring that directly to public safety so we can make sure it's uh, ameliorated. I like to speak to this also. Um, the fact of the matter is, is PSD, I think, is doing a fine job of, um, of, of policing the island. Uh, if, in fact, Cornell needs extra security measures, we will work with Cornell. Uh, they have provided extra security measures at our request in many times uh, because of the uh, traffic, etc. They are providing us with the ability to have more uh, security on that area, especially with the construction. I know that there have been several incidences that, we may, and that people are concerned about. One cannot, we cannot talk about it, obviously it's under investigation with 114. Uh, but we have made uh, as many measures as we can, we can in order to avoid any further incidents such as that. We're working with Urban American, um, for improvement of cameras within their buildings. We're working with the, uh, another stage of our cameras also. So is there any kind of written plan that Cornell and Rion could provide the community? And well, the, we have hired, Cornell Tech has hired uh, a uh, security consultant to do the planning for our, our campus and we land uh, in the summer of 2017 when we came occupancy here, and of course that that only include um, consulting with with REOC and the police departments and and um, making sure that all the bases are covered with regard to security on our campus. Jim, that sounds like uh, your consultant is really dealing fundamentally with the campus itself. I think that the community's concern has more to do with the additional traffic the additional foot traffic as well as uh, vehicle traffic uh, that comes to the community as a result of Cornell Tech. Can uh, perhaps uh, I can. I can. better speak to that? There's no doubt there's going to be extra vehicular traffic. There's going to be more people on the street. Uh, I think that we have, since I've been here, that's happened already. I think we're dealing with that and we will provide the necessary protection as it comes along. Right now, one can't say, oh, we're going to have 5,000 people at this, this juncture, and that's what we need. I, one can't look at it like that. We will address it as it comes. We have increased the number of um, uh, PSD officers uh, in recent times because of the increase in the traffic. I can't stop the traffic. We only manage it. What can your office do to ensure REOC accountability and compliance with New York State, New York City, and U.S. laws? I, I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just read them. Who, who asked the question? Maybe we should ask the person that asked the question what motivates your question, and then let's get to the bottom of it. I asked the question. Okay, yes. I mean, one thing that I think we... I'm a big believer in, and I was recently appointed by the speaker to the reform, newly created reforms committee in the New York State Assembly. And what we're looking at is more accountability, more transparency. And I'm interested in what motivated your question. The elevator, and the elevator for the tram is constantly breaking down, and the Department of Transportation 
makes this a federal requirement that it be working and there be an alternate plan when it doesn't work. REAC has consistently across the span of many years failed to do it, so it becomes a reasonable question. Absolutely, and when I took the tram today, I looked at that elevator and it's on my punch list to, to look into and I'm sure the congressman has something to say about that as well. Well, one of our big, big uh, successes on the island, back to the theme of it's not only what you achieve but what you hold on to. Because remember when the tram broke down and they were talking about not starting it up again? <laughs> I mean, really, that was a horror. And if you look at any advertisement about the city of New York, it always has, has a tram. It's sort of like a, a, a beautiful, iconic scene going over the water from the city. And, and that was a huge fight on the city and state level, really, to get the funding and to get that opened. And I know both Peter Granis and Jessica Lappin uh, worked incredibly hard. And, I was helping them too, but it was mainly our state and, and city money um, allocated to, by the federal government to them that they allocated to the program. But we, we could certainly uh, set up a meeting with transportation. I think our, our city council members should take the lead and, uh, and set it up with them and with the state transportation part, department. I mean, Sally and I met with them. Our money from the federal government to the state transportation department was a fight to get least in a year. Anyway, uh, on what they're going to do to try to make that better. And, uh, you know, the tram is just incredibly important, I think, to the vision of the city and to the livelihood and, and quality of life for people who live on the island. So I think that that's a takeaway to sit together with the city, state, federal government on the transportation line and how we make that happen. And then maybe we can allocate federal monies uh, or earmark from coming to the state and city for that purpose. And I think that's I go 
went to a meeting. The NRA is screaming and yelling about guns. And then they bust people in. I don't know where these people come from, but they scream so much that you can't hear. So it's so nice to have a real town hall meeting. I think you'd enjoy it. Question. Lorraine? Okay. I'm sorry, we're going to have to, we're going to have to, the senator has asked to speak in the 